Wave energy converters, or WECs, are devices that generate electricity from ocean waves. The SWEPT lab is the Sandia Wave Energy Power Takeoff Lab, and it's designed to test the generator and power takeoff systems of wave energy converters. The power takeoff and generator systems are a very essential component of wave energy converters. They essentially act as the link between the mechanical energy in the waves and the electrical energy that you're trying to produce. This system is designed and built to simulate a device in the water. Once you're out there in the water, there is little access to the generator system. So we want to make sure that once uh, they're deployed, uh, the system works well. The SWEP lab is located in a series of shipping containers and that allows us to be mobile and perform tests here in Albuquerque as well as at other locations. The one key component of our work here at Sandia is that we're able to leverage our groups from defense and robotics on this project and apply their expertise to this unique problem. The SWEP lab is designed to simulate the input that we see in the ocean waves, but do it in a very controlled environment. So the hydraulic systems that we use here mimic how the ocean waves affect a wave energy converter and give that input to the power takeoff or generator system in a very reproducible, systematic way that allows us to study how the generator is operating and if it's performing as designed. Wave power is uh, oscillatory by nature. And so what we're trying to do is to design control systems and generator systems that work well in these conditions. The oscillatory motion from the waves must be translated into a steady current from the generator. And so the swept lab takes a number of components and creates that oscillatory motion. It allows us to uh, get a very accurate representation of the WEX system that we're trying to simulate. We can do things down to as small as model scale devices, or we can go all the way up to full scale devices as well. Bigger devices produce more power, but at the same time they're more expensive and they're more difficult to build, more difficult to deploy. Smaller devices uh, produce less power, but they're much easier to build and deploy. So that is a question that, for which we still don't have an answer. The attractive thing about collecting energy from ocean waves is that filtering effect from the sun to the wind to the waves kind of creates a smoothing. So the wave energy, at least in most locations, tends to be very consistent throughout the day, month to month, and that's very attractive for people who are trying to keep the lights on. Another big advantage of wave energy is that wave energy resources tend to be co-located with population centers. Something like 50% of the world's population lives within 50 miles of a coast and that's where waves are located. There is a lot of power available in the ocean, so from that point of view it makes sense to try to design and build these devices. It's the challenge of solving problems that haven't been solved yet, and it's real. So we are working with real machines, we're building them, and we're helping companies uh, to deploy these devices in the water. We're not talking about maybe improving the performance of these devices by one or two percent. We're talking about maybe doubling the performance of this device. So the ability to have such a large impact and potentially make these devices commercially viable and help create an industry, that's, that's pretty exciting.